What is happening everybody? Hello and welcome back to Total Blast, where we discuss about everything Marvel and the MCU. The idea of going back to the MCU has been discussed by many. Many of the older Marvel characters, as well as those that have passed away, those who we thought have passed away, and some kind that have just vanished. And Vision is one of those many characters. Now, the actor who plays Vision, Paul Bettany, has stated that he will be making at least one more appearance in the MCU. The only question left are where and when this will happen. Also, it appears that a very particular plan is being devised for the trailer of Deadpool 3 to premiere during the Super Bowl, which is sort of a genius idea. The Deadpool trailer is expected to drop during the game. Furthermore, if the rumors we are hearing are accurate, the trailer will have several distinct cameos rather than just one. However, one cameo in particular makes the TV truly smash the internet. And on the other news, News that Pedro Pascal will be playing with Richard in the Fantastic Four has already been confirmed a few days ago. Immediately following their announcement on the official website that he had wrapped up work on Gladiators 2, they announced that he will be joining Marvel's Fantastic Four and that production will start shortly. We are going to be breaking down all of these latest reports in a bit, but before we get into all of the exciting details, don't forget that we are still giving out a brand new PlayStation 5 on this channel. More on how to win at the end of this video. And if this is your first time, please subscribe and enable the bell notifications so you don't miss out on subsequent videos. Now, as you know, Wanda still has a lot of unfinished business in WandaVision involving the Scarlet Witch, Vision, and their children. There's still a great deal of unfinished business ranging from WandaVision's events to current affairs to the reappearance of the Scarlet Witch. So, a lot is about to happen, and it appears that they are no longer being lonely or shy about it. Furthermore, the actor who portrays Thanos in the MCU, Josh Brolin, has made hints that he may not be finished with the role just yet. Why don't we just find baby Thanos, you know, and... First of all, that's horrible. It's Thanos. It's Interestingly, Paul Bethany has also been talking about it lately, and he spoke extensively at Megacon 2024, and reaffirmed that he will return as Vision. During the question and answer period at Megacon, a fan posed the following questions. Which Vision would ever return and in which capacity? Or will you be making a comeback to the MCU? Paul Bettany then paused for a while before responding, saying, Well, yes. I mean, why wouldn't I? Indeed, in full. Well, I think his statements are accurate. I mean, why wouldn't they be? They did establish a narrative for Wanda and Spectral Vision in Wanda Vision. At the end of Wanda Vision, we saw that the actual vision that we were familiar with wasn't real, and when Wanda created him, she gave the Spectral Vision access to all of his memories, effectively overloading it. As a result, he fled and is still alive today. So, it's official that Vision will be making a comeback to the MCU. The only question left is when, how, and why. Since they have already laid out the plot for him, the first part is why and it was answered by itself. Regarding the second part of the why, well, the Scarlet Witch, but not much is known about the planned solo Scarlet Witch movie at this time. And since the release of Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, there have been tidies concerning this film. And according to insiders, they do indeed have plans for Wanda the MCU Scarlet Witch, and they intend to give her a proper feature film. When asked if she perished in Wonder Girl Mountains or not, Kevin Feige also came out and essentially stated that she's still alive. He continued, If you notice, right before the mountain falls on her, you can see a red light flash. He essentially told us that she virtually avoided death by using her powers. And according to what we've heard, Agatha's Dark Old Diary book series will feature at least one of Wanda's children, if not both, but will concentrate solely on her son, Wiccan, also known as Billy in the show. It will specifically center on him since, in contrast to his brother Tommy, the comic book character Speed, who is incredibly fast but without magical talent, is one with the abilities. According to Agatha and Billy, aka Wiccan, will collaborate on the Dark Hole Diary series. There will surely be a family reunion, so hopefully, it will be positive rather than negative, especially considering Thanos might make a comeback to the MCU. Beg your pardon. As previously noted, Josh Brolin has entered at a potential comeback to the role of Thanos, Josh Brolin responded to a question whether or not Thanos would reappear in the MCU during an interview with comicbook.com regarding Dune Part 2. He stated, You know, I hear, kind of like through the grapevine, that they are going to bring him back. And moving on, the internet will certainly crash after watching Deadpool 3 teaser, but this is a particular cameo show. It's game over. And I believe that Ryan Reynolds and Marvel Studio teams are thinking about it. And it originates from the trailer description that we've been hearing about lately. Additionally, it appears that the trailer may feature Deadpool and Wolverine in recent MCU appearances. Thus, the teaser gave us a clear glimpse of Deadpool and Wolverine in the real MCU, our primary universe. 
Remember that there are still just a few days left until the Super Bowl as of the time of recording this. So, the trailer is certainly being worked on at the moment. There are now two distinct descriptions that complement one another but cover separate topics. One was uploaded to Chew.com. Then there's another one that comes from the online geek cast Twitter account, which shares updates and leaks. And they say, in the Deadpool 3 trailer, we get the void and see the broken fox letters. It's a dark tone. Except for ones that were just Wolverine and Deadpool strolling on down the dirty path together, which Ryan Reynolds posted personally. We've seen this in almost all of the leaked images from Deadpool 3. Regarding the set images, however, majority of them have been taken in the emptiness, and we have already seen numerous instances of the background letters, the 20th Century Fox logo, and the Damaged Fox logo. Thus, Wolverine and Deadpool from the Fox universe will be brought into the MCU right immediately in the teaser. However, it appears from the other description that Wolverine is the one who takes Deadpool and drags him over. The description presented on the website in Portuguese is translated as follows, roughly using Google Translator. As a teaser, the video will naturally focus on Deadpool, who is going through a midlife crisis and has left the life of a hero behind. To make ends meet these days, he sells cars. Wolverine makes a brief but powerful entrance in the teaser, digging his claws into his adversary. In response, Logan receives Nick's name from Deadpool and he makes fun of his hair. There is profanity present, and this is an adult-only rating, and there will be more mutant appearances. However, there are two aspects of this that we must examine, but one is now generating the most discussion is the appearance of more mutants. Still, there's one specific cameo that is attracting a lot of attention. Taylor Swift, probably in the role of Dazzler. There have been rumors that Taylor Swift will appear in Deadpool 3. She has good friendships with Ryan Reynolds' wife, Blake Lively. Indeed, Will Wilson can be seen riding about in Professor X chair in Deadpool 2 while wearing a shirt featuring Meredith and Olivia, Taylor Swift's two kitties. Deadpool 2 previously had two small easter eggs featuring Taylor Swift. Travis Kelly, Taylor Swift's boyfriend and Kansas star player, who is regarded as one of the all-time greats, ties end at a nine-time bro bowler, is also playing in the Super Bowl, and he and Taylor Swift have been receiving a lot of attention lately. This would be insane, and Deadpool 3 will have the extreme hype and buzz, which is exactly what Marvel Studio needs right now. And moving on to other news. The most current information regarding Fantastic Four was that the full rework was also in the works. Following the publication that claims, a few more identity insiders chimed in, speculating that it might just be some punching up the comedy and making some minor screenplay changes. Far cry from having them completely rewrite the script. And given that they appear to about to begin production, it is far more likely. It may begin in July, which is a reasonable time frame. Regardless of this, the problem is that Marvel Studios won't be able to keep the cast a secret once production begins. HD photos and videos will be present everywhere, given that an announcement won't be necessary simply because we'll be able to witness the actors in action on set. And with that said, let's head over right to our giveaways as we're still giving out a brand new PlayStation 5 on this channel to one lucky subscriber once we hit a milestone of a thousand subscribers. And all you have to do to win is watch our videos, like, subscribe and turn on your post notification, and one subscriber will be chosen from the comment section to win our brand new PlayStation 5. Also, want to say thank you to everyone who has ever supported us this far. We truly appreciate it. What are your thoughts about this video? And whose comeback are you anticipating the most? Is it that of Vision or Thanos? And how hyped are you for the Deadpool 3 trailer which debuts on Sunday? And what do you think about Taylor Swift's cameo? Please, don't forget to like this video, share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Subscribe and turn on the post notifications so you don't miss out on any of our latest Marvel news. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I hope to see you in the next one.